I mean, there is no way in hell that a server should take you 20 minutes to find a damn game. I mean, it was literally a time where I couldn't find a game for, for almost a half hour in Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It didn't make no sense. Welcome to your worst nightmare. The mixtape's completed. I used to be the underdog. Now I'm undefeated. Let's believe it. Welcome, guys, to the Ultimate Variety Channel. In the midst of Medal of Honor Warfighter, I raise this question to all of you. In the past year, two Army tactical shooters were released, Battlefield 3 and Ghost Recon Future Soldier. In your opinion, which game was better and why? And also, do you think that Medal of Honor will surpass any of these two games that I mentioned before in terms of gameplay, tacticalness, I'm not even sure if that's even a word, tacticalness. Also, the need for a squad, customization, and graphics. Now I want you guys to leave your comments in the comment section below. Now let me tell you what I think. Battlefield 3 and Ghost Recon are a lot closer than a lot of people would think. I actually enjoyed both games. Uh, I didn't play neither game for as long. I'm, I'm getting back to playing Battlefield as we speak. I'm doing more gameplay on it. But here's some of the things that I liked in Battlefield 3. And here's some of the things that I liked in Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Battlefield 3, uh, to start off. The graphics were very appealing, especially if you played or watched it on a PC and watched it in full 1080p. I mean, it looks visually appealing. Very, very good looking. Frostbite 2, the physics, the Frostbite 2 physics engine. Destructible buildings, explosions of fears. It makes you feel like you're in a battlefield. You know, it actually feel like you're actually in combat. Um, some of the gadgets, some of the gadgets like the mortar. Very appealing, very destructible actually does the job in killing people you know and then the amount of weapons there are a lot of weapons on Battlefield 3 a lot of weapons that I haven't even touched yet especially with the new uh, DLC package they come out a lot more weapons and within those weapons you also have a lot of customization There's so much you can do in terms of the customization now let's go ahead and go to Ghost Recon Future Soldier the cover system reminds me of a Gears of War cover system very good very good I love games with a cover system it makes you feel like the combat is realistic. I mean, the fact that you can hide behind a wall and not have, not actually have to put your guy behind a wall, but you can actually cover behind a wall. Uh, I like the sprinting, the walking, the laying prone. All the little physics were really, really good and responsive. When I laid prone, he laid. My guy laid prone. My soldier laid prone. Uh, not even delaying the in the prone. He go. He lays prone instantly. Uh, the, like I, and I said, the controls are responsive. Very responsive. You fire, your bullet doesn't delay in firing, of course, unless there's lag. You know, the weapon customs were real. even, the weapon customization in, Battle, in Battlefield 3 were really good, but the weapon customization and Ghost Recon were maybe even more detailed than Battlefield 3. I mean, there's, there are things that you can put in your gun that I didn't even know were realistically possible. Of course, I'm not in the military. I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not, how should I say, I'm not savvy when it comes to uh, technical terms such as uh, some of the ones you see in Ghost Recon, but they were even more detailed in Battlefield 3. There's so many, many things you can, so many things you can do to your gun in Ghost Recon than in Battlefield. Of course, there's some pro, there's some cons as well. Ghost Recon, the server time was awful. I mean, like I said before, you shouldn't have to wait 30 minutes to find a, a damn game. I mean, literally, they will put you on the other team. If you were playing a squad of five or more, put you on another team and have you wait 30 minutes to even find a game. It was ridiculous. Of course, Battlefield 3 has some issues, um, such as when it lags, it's really bad. Uh, the lag can be really bad, like when you're sniping. You know, it, it, there's realistic bullet drop, and sometimes the lag can affect you on that. Um, the maps were sometimes, I mean, I know it's a Battlefield, but the maps were sometimes oversized, and which can make the make the gameplay very long and boring at times. That's why I like the Close Quarters map pack. The Close Quarters map pack really has a different dimension, makes the, the game faster, faster paced. And I know Battlefield wasn't necessarily meant for faster paced games, but personally I prefer a faster paced gameplay. Even in Ghost Recon, the game could be kind of boring because of the length of time. Uh, even though the maps weren't as big. And you know, so I mean, the, the games, had different pros and cons and I want you guys to let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments section below I'm interested in hearing what uh, what gets more more votes 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave in the comment section Battlefield 3 Ghost Recon. I want you guys to thumbs up if you like Battlefield 3 or thumbs up if you like Ghost Recon. So um yeah, let me like that let me know what you guys think in the section below. And uh this is your boy Retro. Peace. Chill. Oh.